Hello everybody, this is Digital Music Express and in today's video we will be looking at how to create a basic uh, sounding chiptune sound on a Nord Stage 3 Compact. The synth section as many would know is based on that of the Nord Lead A1 and hence uh, this should be pretty standard and easy to grasp all the way through to the Nord Lead Aid 1 even. So first of all what we need to do is we need to initialize the, uh, s the sound to start afresh with no settings. You do that by holding shift sound in it and you press on the main screen over here you press in it and then it will say synth section cleared and it will revert to all standard settings. I'm just going to turn off the effects for now for the purpose of this demonstration. The pulse that I, or rather the waveform that I like to start with is called pulse 10. You get that by rotating the oscillator one waveform knob. If it's um, maybe showing on your side basic sign just turn it towards the right hand side and it will give you the rest of the waveforms so I like to start with pulse 10 if you like the modulated the pulse width modulated um, sound then what you can do is you can hold shift and with the oscillator 2 pitch or config knob turn it to shape which is number 3 and then you will have an option to modulate the pulse with that pulse wave it sounds like this currently as you turn the modulation amount you'll hear it modulating. You can assign that to the LFO section and use the modulation knob to adjust the LFO amount Then to actually get the um, chiptune sound would be to use the arpeggiator. Now many thanks to a user by the username of NordPH on the Nord user forum for pointing out this a very handy and fancy method of creating this sound. I personally always used to use the LFO to modulate the oscillator pitch by 12 semitones or one octave and that would give you that um, that sort of stepping chip tune sound but this works just as well unfortunately it just sacrifices the arpeggiator for it if you ever intended to use it separately so what we'll do is we'll switch on the arpeggiator by pressing the ARP run switch. The speed um, is generally preferred to be in the higher range of between 800 beats per minute up until fast 1 to fast 5 but that's down to your preference. So we'll just use fast 1 for now for the purpose of this demonstration. Octave um, range is at 2 and we want the mode to be up and down so holding shift and pressing the octave switch again it will actually go from down to up down and then it will sound like this it's a bit fast so let's just turn it down a bit adjust your amplifier envelope a little bit put the decay all the way to sustain I 
also like to use legato uh, triggering. Or you can use monophonic too. But if you use mono, it sort of creates a space between the steps of the arp, as you can hear. Whereas if it's legato, it's more uh, closely connected. So use legato for that. Sounds pretty close enough, doesn't it? Now then, the next thing you can do is um, just play around with the, um, the shape. If you wish, you can mix it around. Um, you can use the LFO to obviously modulate the pulse width back and forth, if you wish. Or you can add a secondary oscillator as a sub-oscillator. When, by using the fi the mix function, uh, function and not the shape function, you can also use unison if you want to layer the sound. But I don't really prefer doing that. It sort of makes it too bulky. And then what you can also do is then um, add some effects to your liking. I like to use the delay, which is here on the whoops, which is here on the uh, the right hand side of the board. So, delay and reverb, and then you get this sound. You hear the uh, stereo delay, which is the ping pong function over there. So, back to our normal synth section. What I really like about using the arpeggiator as well, which uh, I couldn't really do with just using the LFO to modulate the oscillator pitch is that you now get this sound if I use fast one and of course if I say keyboard hold that's basically it. You can then fine tweak everything else uh, to your liking using different um, shapes. You can use a Pulse 33. You, you don't have to use the uh, Pulse Width modulation if you don't want to. it. I hope uh, this helps somebody out. Um, I certainly had fun learning how to do that and once again thanks to the very helpful guys on the Nord user forum for pointing out some nice tips and tricks on how to make certain things with the uh, unique layout and configuration of this particular synth engine found on the Stage 3 and the A1. Until next time, thank you and uh, see you around.